I'm I-Team investigator Kylie McGivern. As part of our ongoing series, Crisis and Corrections, we've looked at the lack of air conditioning in most of Florida's prison system, the third largest in the country. On Wednesday, lawmakers announced the filing of a bill saying each state correctional institution shall provide a portable air conditioner or air cooling system. Bill sponsor, Democratic State Rep Angie Nixon, says it's about safety. Every Floridian deserves to be safe, and this includes all the folks in Florida State prisons, whether they're incarcerated individuals, correctional officers, or volunteers. In the midst of record-breaking heat this summer, the I-Team traveled to Orlando, where advocates raised awareness about what they call a crisis. Ruben Saldana, who spent nearly 20 years in prison and now mentors Orlando area kids, said that's because of the problems the heat causes. That's when the violence comes out. That's when uh, the officers are no longer safe within the uh, uh, institution themselves. At Lowell Correctional, the state is currently testing portable air conditioning units. Democratic State Rep Yvonne Hayes Hinson's district includes the women's prison. This is a state crisis, ladies and gentlemen. This is a human rights violation, and the state has to do something about it. This week, consultants hired to put together a plan told lawmakers over the next 20 years, air conditioning could cost $582 million. While the debate will continue over funding, Republican State Senator Jonathan Martin says something needs to be done. We need to have uh, our facilities upgraded and, um, you know, make sure that they're doing their job and that the corrections officers can, can focus on their safety. In December, the Department of Corrections is expected to release a comprehensive report on the needs of Florida's state prison system. I'm I-Team investigator Kylie McGivern taking action for you.